today, grade threes. I'm just busy looking at a photo album of my daughter Courtney when she was a baby and, she, and when she was born and all the different phases and stages that she's gone through as she's grown up. Now, just like our friend Cindy here on the board, Courtney was born. And then she be, she grew up and she she grew into a little happy little toddler. She loved to run around and play with building blocks and balls. And from there she she grew further with lots of love and care and nurturing. And she grew into a lovely teenager. Now, later on in her life, she's going to become an adult. And one day she may decide to have a baby of her own. And after these stages she will become an older person, an aged person. And these stages of life are what we call a life cycle. So today we're going to be speaking about life cycles. In this theme, we're going to talk about the life cycle of a bird, we're going to also talk about the life cycle of insects and if you remember correctly for the past three weeks we've been we've been talking about insects and this week we, in this theme we're also going to talk about the insects life cycle we're going to speak about the life cycle of a mammal and we're also going to be speaking about amphibians now amphibians are animals that live on land and in water. Now amphibians, like frogs, have to lay their eggs in water and the eggs hatch in water and that's where their cycle starts. Animals like mammals and humans, just by the way, are also considered mammals. They give birth to their young. The insects, on the other hand, start their life cycle as larva and birds start their life cycles as eggs. So all living things have a life cycle. This simply means how they were born, how they grow and change throughout their lives. Now the word cycle simply means continuously in a circle. So the cycle that most living things here go through would they would start as an egg or seed from there they would have the birth process then they go through the growing up phase and then they become adults and then the cycle begins again when the adults decide to have their own babies and that is what we call the life cycle so here we're dealing with the life cycle of our amphibian, the frog. Um, remember we said an amphibian is an animal that lives both on water and on land. In fact, it must lay its eggs in the water. So a female frog would lay her eggs in the water. The mass of eggs is called spawn. From that stage, we go to these two stages. And this we would consider as one stage. This is when the, the egg hatches to become a tadpole. From this stage, it moves on to where the frog develops the two front legs. As you can see, the tail is getting shorter. The next stage that we go to would be this stage where the frog develops its two hind legs and the tail is giving, getting even shorter. Our last stage is where the frog becomes an adult frog. And these are the five stages of the frog. Our activity for this week, grade threes, is the life cycle of a frog. So as we can see, at the bottom of the page, we have the, the, different, the five different life cycles. Here we have the adult frog. Here we have the tadpole with the um, two legs. Here we have the eggs. We have a tadpole with four legs and we have 
the tadpole at one day old. So what you have to do for this week is decide how this goes. And you can start here at the top block and you can put the first one, the first cycle of the frog and then you can put them in order ending on this block here. You can cut these out and you can put them in here and then you can color them. Mom, do you want to hear a frog joke? Ah, oh, yes, why not? Okay. Why are frogs so happy? Um, probably because they get to live on land and in water. No, <laughs> because they eat whatever bugs them. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> okay, do you want to hear another one? Mm, yes, definitely. What did the frog order at McDonald's? A happy meal? <laughs> no, French flies and a diet croak. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay. And I'm sure all the grade threes enjoyed that one as well. Well, grade threes, thank you for joining me today. Keep on hopping along and croaking through the week. See you next week.